shape fit will try to make the best fit according to the shape of the filled object. It is the default fill type for array fills. The spacing will specify the distance between the imaginary rectangles that would surround each object if selected. As I increase the spacing, the stars will move further apart in the horizontal direction. If I increase the spacing vertically, the stars will move further apart in the vertical direction. The start angle will specify the angle of the horizontal line of repeated objects. So at zero degrees, the stars are going to be in a straight horizontal row. As I change the start angle and press enter, the straight line will rotate. You can also edit shape fits through edit shape nodes. Again, you want edit outline unchecked in tool options. Control point one specifies the position of the first object of the array. So as I click and drag on that position one, the reference point for the first object changes. The distance between one and two specifies the horizontal spacing. So I can move that control further away or closer together and it will affect the horizontal spacing. The distance between one and three will affect the vertical spacing. Again, I can move it closer to the node one or further away if I want the objects further away. The angle between one and two specifies the start angle and I can rotate in either direction to change the start angle. The angle between one and three cannot be changed. The distance is the only thing that can be changed by moving control point three. Remember on any of these fill shapes, you can also change the offset and the item rotation and trim shapes.